Welcome to Weld.com. <clears throat> I think we've done a lot of different positions on plate and pipe for TIG roots, and I, I've had some uh, private messages of people wanting help on horizontal. I believe their problem or their the question was, how do I keep from blowing up the root? Mainly on the top side, I think it was running too hot um, or not getting through at all. So I want to see if I could kind of set this up and go through it with them a little bit. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's something they're doing that, that we could do here that would help them out. And again, everybody has their own personal preference of what's going on here for fit, feeding the wire, all that kind of stuff. My normal stuff, as you well know, watching the videos, and I like to do about a, a 16th barely a 332 a root face on everything standard piping comes in it has a root face on it that's the way i just weld them all the time i do pay attention to how thick it is i notice on a lot of pipe fittings they run inconsistently so when i'm doing a plate or a pipe i try to try to make the root face consistent i've run feathered edges before it just to me i run faster when i'm doing about a 16th root face so about what i have in here um, I have a gas lens on here, number seven cup. I intend on, on resting this up here and walking it in the groove. Now, we could come in here and freewheel this, freehand it as well, but to me, it's just more comfortable for resting the cup in here lightly. Probably hang on to this upside down. Uh, I could feed the wire in the front, but essentially what's gonna happen anyway is, I. I want this wire deep into the groove. And for me, uh, I like, if I'm feeding, and one of these days we'll do a video on pipe as well, I'll feed this kind of from the inside. So if I'm, there's nothing back here to rest this on us. I'm gonna feed this from the backside right back here. It's probably, let's call it uh, five, 10 degrees. And I wanna hang this back here on the backside I want the filler wire to be kind of like even with the bevel face on the top plate and to the back side. Filler wire kind of acts as a heat sink. Ideally, when I get done with this, <clears throat> I should be able to put the bead or put the plate on the table and it'll have some root reinforcement. It'll look like a vertical up. It'll look like a, you know, we could run this thing and tilt this on a 45 to simulate a 6G, even lean it forward overhead to simulate 6G. Anytime you put a root in, if it's done correctly, you really can't tell what position it's done in. So the telltale sign is, I think I've had some pictures out on Instagram where I ran a root, 532 wire, uh, 3 8 half inch plate, ran it in hor horizontal position, and really the only way you can tell is the, the smoke on the top side plate. When it goes up, you can kind of get that yellowish haze, that smoky haze, and, and that's really the only way. If I wiped all that off, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to tell if they're done correctly. So, uh, you know, again, I just want to hang this back here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have my hand against the plate and I'm gonna go along here and try to walk this cup in here and put this root in and just go across the plate just like this. Camera guy will either be behind me, he might be over here so he can zoom in and catch the backside of the bead penetration going in there. Uh, he might be over here behind me somewhere to catch the face side of this as we're, as we're putting it in. So I may run about halfway and stop so he can reposition. Let me get my sleeves on, my hood. I'll be right back. I'm running an eighth inch ER70S6. My amperage is uh, 130. And I'm trying to hold this on the back side just to kind of watch it melt off. 
I haven't had a whole lot of success dabbing this in. Been better off feeding it from the back side. And we're a little more than halfway. That went fairly quick. You'll notice when I came out of this, I decreased the amperage and crawled up on the bevel face. We got some color back here. I'm gonna let the camera guy reposition himself to get on the back side over here so he can zoom in and see what's going on with this bead. So when I restart, you'll see that the bead heats up and then I'll introduce the wire and try to make a blend on the transition on the back side. I'm going to heat this front of this bead up before I introduce the wire. And we're going to continue on. I started out with a, I don't want to say it was a 5.30 second fit. It's a loose eighth and it's already closed up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and stop right there and leave a little bit of that. You know what? No, I'm not either. I'm going to go ahead and finish that out. I just thought of something here. I'm going to do something different on this weld. I'm going to create another video. Welcome back. I went ahead and uh, buffed this off on the back side. I noticed my freehand start. I was a little bit frisky. I'm not over the <clears throat> I don't know, little limit, but it's, it is, has a bump to it. Uh, the transition there when I restarted is blended in. It, it looks a little funny. I'm not super happy with it. Um, and then I got settled down when I was walking the cup here. Um, I think we had a restart right in here somewhere so you can see the transition of it. I'll turn this over. And that's what we got on the front side there. A little color to it. So again, to the person that was having a little bit of trouble, I, you know, my, my, it's a personal thing for me is to kind of feed that just barely on the back side while I'm gently walking the cup in there. I'm not cramming the cup into the groove. Real light pressure on everything. I think my amperage is right around 125, 130 while I was going, eighth inch. And, and I've even run 532nd on there, but I've given it bigger gap. And you're gonna play, you're gonna get a bunch of different fits. What you don't want is something slammed completely shut. Those are super difficult. I'd rather have it a little bit too wide than slam shut. So I, I like to run eighth and 532nd wires on there. It depends on the, obviously the thickness of the plate or pipe we're gonna we're gonna mock up a plate or a pipe run here pretty quick. So, uh, man, I sure hope this helps. Get a hold of me if there's any other minor things that you have questions about. If I can help, I certainly will. That's what I'm. That's what I try to do is help people out. Try to figure this out. If I can do it, you can do it. That's what I'm trying to encourage everybody. You you can do this stuff. It's not hard. You got to relax. You got to be cool about it. So. Uh, thanks for watching Weld.com. Please subscribe to the videos. Thank you. Two hundred yards downhill. If you do the math right, it's 175. Hope you have your 175 club out there, homeboy. The hell? Stop it. Closest to the pin, winner takes off. I got the nitro too. I'll be the judge of that.